your peers to consider viewpoints they never have, and the same for yourself. You'll come out of that class every day a different person with a better grasp on what you believe and a firm realization that you have a lot to learn. Number two, your mental health comes first. My class learned this in a very real way last year, but I think it's important that all of you begin your IB experience with this in mind. Your mental health comes before your homework, studying, tests, IAs, EEs, CAS, and all other lovely acronyms that IB offers. In order to succeed in all of those tasks, you need to take care of your mind and your body first. Know your limits. Learn to say no when you've taken on too much. Communicate with your teachers about your stress levels, and do things that bring you joy. Your mental health is the most important piece to success in IB. Don't ever forget that piece. Number three, you can't do it alone. You are all capable students with stellar academic abilities. That's why you're here. So use each other. Use the strengths and weaknesses of your peers to grow together. The people sitting next to you will become your family in the year to come. These are the only people who know exactly what you're going through, and that forms a bond unlike any other. Number four, pie night is very important. There's a rule among my IB friends. Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock, no matter what, you're, what assignment you're working on or what test you're studying for, you put it down and get to diligent for free pie night. It's like a religious experience. It's important to have those experiences together to remind each other that there is a life outside of IB, and it's a beautiful one. You'll find your weekly ritual like ours on your own time, but in the meantime, you're always welcome at our table. Number five, your classes are not mutually exclusive. You'll find yourself using studies from Psych to analyze the validity of historians' theses. You'll use statistics from your math class and biology labs. You'll use allusions from your text in English in your Spanish papers, and you'll find TOK everywhere. Don't freak out. This is normal, and it's kind of cool. Number six. Yes, you're an IB scholar, but you're also a 16-year-old. IB doesn't define you or your time unless you let it. You only get four years of high school to scream yourself hoarse from the stands during a football game or run out for midnight milkshakes with your best friends. So do those things. You'll find a balance between your schoolwork and your social life, and I urge you to find it soon. Number seven. All things are important, but all things are not equally important. There will be nights where you feel like you can't do it all, and that's because you can't. You will face the daily struggle of finding what's more, most important to you on that day, and you'll focus your energy on that, and then you'll do it again the next day. My mom always told me to approach the stressful days as I would approach eating an elephant, one bite at a time. <laughs> Number eight, amaze yourself. Don't do this program because your parents wanted you to or because you think it'll look good on your college applications. Do this for yourself. Don't do this to impress those around you. Do it to impress yourself. IB is going to teach you how to be curious and how to explore your knowledge through a number of different avenues. Allow yourself to be amazed by the growth you're going to experience in the year to come and step back every once in a while to remind yourself that you are an incredible learner who is capable of amazing Number nine, there's your May 2016 future, and then there's your actual future. You have the best teachers in the world. I'm not kidding. And they're going to prepare you for your May 2016 future without a problem. It's your job to search for the aspects of IB that you'll use in your actual future. And there will be days where you'll say, um, Mr. Cassidy, why are we learning about the complexities of bacteria reproduction? Or, Mr. Thompson, why do we care about how yellow journalism affected the outcome of the Spanish-American War? Trust me, I know the feeling. <laughs> but 